The accent. Weird accents. They're all gone. Nobody's got accents anymore, unless you're from Europe. But you don't get any New York accents. Even Harlem. Harlem has changed also. That neighborhood is like, that switched around. And no more, no more. No more accents. It's all acting. Hey, Keith, how you doing? We're all acting. Have coffee at the mall at four. Meet you at four by bed. Forget about it. Yo no soy un schmuck. Oy vey. A regular Yankee. There's a toidle in the toilet. Word. Toidy, toidy, toidy. Behave yourself or you get a whack in the gup. Come to my his house and get my kids off. Oh, fuck you. There are uh, sounds that we all recognize that are part of the New York accent. Street. Street. Your mother. Your, Your mother. mother. Cool. Fee. Coffee. Yes, there's a New York accent. New York accents, very different. People from different boroughs and different states maybe come here and they, the signs are different. They don't know. For example, Harlem, the sign for Harlem here is that sign. The body language, the facial expressions, the signing in itself is different. All three of those characteristics in one, you know it's a New Yorker who's signing. I think there's a lot of uh, mythology about the so-called New York accent. If you hear people talk about a Brooklyn accent or a Bronx accent or a Staten Island accent, it's really a misnomer. The, um, the ethnicities and their accents in New York are more closely related to each other than uh, boroughs are to each other. So it's more, uh, it's more fair to talk about a, um, a Jewish New York accent or an Irish-based New York accent or an Italian-based New York accent. <laughs> I, think, I think the people from Little Italy speak better than the people from Brooklyn. No offense to you. No. Because no, no. I don't think that's true anyway, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was even told today, she says, you know, you got a, a real New York accent, which is nice, other than Brooklyn. I, you should, think I Brooklyn said, why? Is different I, she really? said, well, Brooklyn, a New York accent's a little more classy. I said, thanks. <laughs> accent is even an aspect of evolution. That is, it's a behavior that shows whether you belong to the group or you're not, you're not part of the group. And the minute you open your mouth, uh, you will show people whether um, you're part of that group or not. I think we were going ice skating. Someone's mother was driving and a bunch of us all piled up into the back and I just happened to be the most talkative one and I'm just blah, blah, blahing and the mother was chiming in on the conversation and stuff. And then when, <laughs> When she pulled over to let us out, she turned around and she said, oh my God, where'd you come from? And I'm like, I've been here the whole time. We've been talking to each other. She's like, oh my God, that was you I'm talking to? You sound like you're from Brooklyn. I'm like, no, I'm from Staten Island. Tugged it. I think my voice belies what I look like. Question was always, uh, what are you, Chinese? No, you must be Japanese. And then when you say no, they're like, well, what else is there? You know, growing up, no one... No one knew about Korea. It was kind of, you know, uh, you know, they heard about it on MASH. You know, you grow up and you sound like everyone else. You know, you, you, you model your speech around people around you. My neighborhood was Italian, Irish, some German, you know, some German, Eastern European. But, um, you know, that was, that was the extent of Staten Island back then. A bunch of friends, we rented a house down the Jersey Shore. And um, there was a girl who was completely infatuated with me. She wanted to date an Asian Guido from Staten Island. So she used to call me the Stasian. Yeah, I don't find the New York accent sexy on a girl. Absolutely not. So a little bit of a review of the aw sound. If we were to look in the mirror for a moment, and I'm going to take it from the ah sound, the father sound, just so we get a feeling of the jaw being open. So I have ah, ah, ha ha, ha ha. Good. Can the tip of the tongue touch the back of the teeth? Ha, ha. 
I first came to Patricia because I had been cast in a lot of only New York City based TV pilots and movies and then I did freelance work for a major league baseball team that was New York based and I actually received a little criticism for how New York I sounded. Car? Uh, car? Say the father sound first. Car? 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 Coffee. Coffee. <laughs> yes. How do you take your coffee? How do you take your coffee? Good. Now, when you say take, see if you can make the take. tongue. Yes. That's the How do you one. take your coffee? How do you take your coffee? <laughs> yes. I, I certainly think, you know, within New York City, people look at a New York accent as, you know, oh, this guy, look at, look at the way he talks, you know? You must be, a, you know, you're a half a thug, uneducated. You know, there's certain presumptions. Uh -huh. I had to change a lot of my and, accent ways. And I, and, and. Yeah. Really? really? I, yeah. Because of the movies that Marty come out with, right? Every time you say yeah. something, somebody, a, yeah. few t a few times I got say, you know, like, something out of the movie, like, mm -hmm. you know, like, get the fuck out of here, or, you know, or some, something out of the movie. And they say, well, you were doing a movie? Like, I said to myself. No, this is how I speak. Yeah, I told one guy, I said, hey, fuck, they took it from me. I didn't take it from them. I didn't take it from them. That's right. Marty right. The, that's yeah. The, the right. Girl from the Marty took it from yeah. me. Yeah, right. I didn't take it from Marty. Right. 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 That's what the girl from The Sopranos told I got about. fucking pissed. I was really? driving them to Westbury. She says, you talk like The Sopranos. And no. I say, wait, because I said, my head to God, I says, no, no, listen to me. I'm talking like this since I'm 10. That's right. So I was born. That's right. Since I'm 10 years old. That's right. Yeah, it's called a, authentic. Yeah. You're yeah. taking it from, it's from called so authentic New York. York. These people don't know I me. Mean, they think like I'm, I'm yeah. imitating. Imitate from... like it's a joke. Yeah, no, like they're not even a joke. They think I'm trying to be a wise guy yeah, from a fucking right. movie. But you're not. No, I'm not. You're just talking how you speak. Yeah, no, that's so, right. You know, yeah, it's like. See, now if he, if he didn't, he'd be doing like this. If I told him something, he'd tell me, get the fuck out of here. That's what he would tell me. Right. Right. Yeah, so you ha I had to stop these things. And and in my view, this is like it, it really important. Embarrassing. No, no, no. And well, well, it's a little embarrassing now. And nobody ever said to me, you know, I don't like the way you speak. One teacher said to me, I never forget it. She said to me, she says, you know, you should learn to better diction. And I says, teacher, if I had better diction, I'd be cleaning fish. You're taking away my personality. And she looked at me and apologized. I said, what is the difference if I speak the way I speak and I invented something to save the world? What does the speech got to go? What's my intentions? What's the way I talk? What's the way I feel about the world? I mean, what kind of personality is this man? I said, do the way I talk with the accent. <laughs> oh my God, look how beautiful he's man. There's definitely an education gradient to accents of all sorts. What up, my brother? My brother is B-R-O-V-A. And that's more so for, like, lack of education. You know, I'm going to say it how it sounds rather than knowing how to spell it properly because, like, school is for suckers. <laughs> If she should go somewhere and she's talking like that, and I'm like, yeah, how you doing? I don't want her to be looked at as less because of her accent, because I know she would not be less just because of the way she talks. Because I know I don't want nobody to find that about me, because they'd be surprised. I'll, you know, I do surprise people. They're like, damn, dude, you're really smart. Like, yeah, why do you think that? Why, is it because of my accent? Because I'm from Brooklyn? What? It does come off as like, not as educated. Like, you're not as smart. Like, what's wrong with you? You know, I'm just playing ball or something. It, it's happened, you know, they're like, ah. Oh. And then they start talking and I can talk from everything from, you know, Schrodinger's cat, which somebody lent the book to me one time and I read about it and I could talk about quantum physics so all the way to like, you know, the Roman Empire to politics. And they're like, ah, oh, dude, you're like really smart. I'm like, yeah, dude, I'm smart. Motherfucker, what? <laughs> how intelligent you are does not correlate with how well you choose your words. I always get corrected in a lot of words. I say, go fuck yourself. I said, I'm not changing. The New York accent is really a conglomeration of all these different foreign accents merged together trying to speak English in the same way. Historically, New York was really the place like with the Statue of Liberty. Give us your, your tired, your poor, your huddled masses. The one thing that all these groups in New York had in common was the use of the hands to communicate, which in so many ways 
was just as important, if not more important than what came out of their mouths. There's a lot of body language, a lot. Other states, they have some body language, yes, but it's limited. It's not near as much as here where it's because people are from different areas here in New York. They all come different states. They all come here to New York and they all learn, oh, I see. And they imagine they create new things, add body language, different signs. So I call it the New York alloy, that every, every group comes along and adds something to the thing, that, to the, the basic alloy that makes it stronger. It's nice to see new people come to New York. It's painful to see how some of the new immigrants are treated. And people are in need to remember, you know, that those of us who grew up in New York, that there was a time when the Italians and the Irish and the Jews were basically the black people of this city. And they worked very hard, and many of them, not all of them, many of them moved themselves up and out. And the people from Pakistan, Mexico, Ecuador, they're the new Irish, they're the new Italians. And uh, we have to, you know, sh give them some, give them props, show them respect. Would that be weird? Let's go to Bobby's. <laughs> Hi. Hello there. Uh, hello. Question. Uh huh. This invoice. If you walk down yeah. Manhattan, Times Square, downtown, all the newsstands you see, you will see Bengali person. 99 at a time, out of 100, it would be a Bengali person. I was born and raised in Bangladesh. My dad bought me, my twin brother, and my mom in the United States. We were 11. I didn't, had no idea what an accent was, really. I don't even think I have an accent myself. But like people would come up to me, and they would be shocked. Like When I tell them, yeah, I wasn't born in this country. I came from another country. They would be shocked. They're like, oh, you talk as if you were born here. Like I, They tell me I have a New York accent. Like When I tell them I'm from the Bronx, it's like, oh, we hear it in your, uh, in your voice, in your, the way you talk. I personally don't see it, but you know, I've been told that. Most of my friends are Latinos, I guess, and, and I've heard this, that people tell me like, oh my gosh, um, they hear like a little Spanish in me, and I'm like, I don't hear it, I really don't. For me, what it means to be Puerto Rican, to me it means that I, I know that I am first generation, I know where my father is from, um, I speak Spanish fluently, and I speak English fluently also, with a New York accent but I'm also half Dominican. So I, I'm, a, you know, for that being a Puerto Rican, Dominican American, um, I'm aware of my culture. I, I'm aware of the language. Um, I grew up watching the television. I also know certain foods that's within that culture. So I guess that would be it. But at the same time, it's, you know, a lot of American elements have been added in. Most people who talk, you don't realize they don't, they just, it's nothing special about the way they talk. But then you hear the, the two, you know, there's always exaggerated cases where, you know, you hear somebody like, oh, how you doing? What's going on over here? You're like, oh my God, where the hell are you? You must be from the Bronx. Oh my God, Frankie! Ah! I can't believe it! Yeah! Oh! What's up, baby? I don't know, what does a Puerto Rican sound like? It's not like I'm using like my grandmother's accent and I'm talking to you like this. Do you know what I'm saying? There's a big difference between somebody that was born in Puerto Rico and then, you know, they, they, they have that as their first language and then by the time they come here, you have to learn how to speak English and a lot of times the, the vowels and the consonants and the deep tongues are different and the cadence is different also. Because my Spanish is horrible. My Spanish sounds like sus chuletas siempre tienen sab sabor, abuela. <laughs> no, to me, to me, you just sound like a neighborhood girl from the Bronx, you know. That's, I would think, yeah. yeah. Like, you don't sound like, you don't sound like a, like a Bronx girl that grew up in a Puerto Rican neighborhood. Right. Like around well, I didn't grow up, I didn't, yeah. I didn't grow up in a yeah. hood. I did not grow up in yeah. a project. I grew up in a working class Irish, like, basically, like, no one's dad wore a suit to work because suits are only for funerals. You know what I mean?